I'm Keith McGilvery with breaking news from Hartford. The votes from fifth graders all across Connecticut are in, and we have a winner in the statewide election for Connecticut's Kid Governor, a civics program created by the Connecticut Democracy Center in residence at Connecticut's Old State House. There were seven candidates on the ballot, including Alexa, whose platform focuses on mental and physical well-being, Claire, whose platform is about hobbies that bring happiness, Cristiano, who plans to address physical activity, Donna, who's planning to focus on littering, Ella, who plans to address bullying, Max, who plans to focus on internet safety, and Paula, who's committed to celebrating diversity and inclusion. Want to get right to the state capitol, where Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas is about to announce the results of the election. Hi everyone, I'm Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas. One of my duties as Secretary is to oversee our elections, which is why I'm so happy to speak with you today. Each of you did something really special this year that even most adults don't do. And you can tell your families I said that. You nominated candidates, you watched their videos and researched their platforms, and you voted. Bravo to each of you. That is what our democracy is all about. Now, it's my honor to report that the fifth graders of the state of Connecticut have elected Cristiano Almeida as their 2024 kid governor. Congratulations, Cristiano. Cristiano is a fifth grader at Oceana Elementary School in Southington. Congratulations are also in order for the other six candidates in this year's election. Thank you, Alexa, Claire, Donna, Ella, Max, and Paula, and all of the school nominees. You all identified very important issues facing Connecticut. You developed meaningful platforms and created wonderful, passionate campaign videos. You should all be proud of your hard work, and I can't wait to see each of you work to make a difference in our state. Thank you to all the fifth graders who voted in this statewide election. I know that Taylor Swift talks about how important it is to vote, and I'm going to do the same thing. Voting is a responsibility that we all have as Americans, and it's a great way to make your voice heard. I hope that you'll all continue to take it seriously. So remember to register to vote when you turn 18, and please vote in every election. But did you know that you don't have to wait until you're 18 to make a difference? You're already doing it now through the Kid Governor program. And as a fifth grader, you can learn about how your local government works by watching town council meetings. And when you turn 16, you can even sign up to work at your town's elections. So keep up your participation because that is really the only way we can make sure positive change happens. Congratulations again to your next Kid Governor, Cristiano Almeida. You've been listening to Secretary of the State Stephanie Thomas. Thank you, Madam Secretary. And you heard it here. Cristiano Almeida of Oceana Elementary School in Southington will serve as the 2024 Connecticut's Kid Governor. Cristiano ran on a platform of achieving increased physical activity with kids and to achieve his vision, Cristiano outlined a three-point plan of action that kids across Connecticut can participate in. It includes point one, developing a fit coins program in schools to encourage physical activity. Point two, creating a fit for fun kids YouTube channel with videos about physical fitness, physical activities, interviews with professionals and student submitted videos as well. Point three, coordinating a statewide poster contest focused on fitness tips. During Cristiano's one-year term, he'll work with the Connecticut Democracy Center to achieve the three points of his platform. Information and resources about that platform will be available on the Kid Governor's website, ct.kidgovernor.org. Cristiano will take his oath of office on Kid Governor Inauguration Day in January and will have an office at Connecticut's Old State House right in Hartford. The six other finalists in the statewide election, Alexa, Claire, Donna, Ella, Max, and Paula will serve as the Kid Governor's Cabinet. The Cabinet members will help Cristiano implement his three-point platform and support each other 
and advancing their own platforms. For more information about Connecticut's Kid Governor and the statewide program, visit ct.kidgovernor.org or follow the program right on social media. A big congratulations again to the 2024 Kid Governor, Cristiano Almeida. Thank you for joining us for this breaking news special report. I'm Keith McGilvery.